Uh, anytime you win at Cintas, uh, it's a heck of a win. Um, you know, especially the way you know this Xavier team's been playing. Uh, <coughs> you know what they did to Providence on the road, and uh, you know they're those three guards are really, really talented, and and they've been physical inside. And you know, fortunately, we were able to <coughs> get behind the defense a little bit after the start of the game, uh, where we turned it over and allowed them to kind of get the crowd into the game. I thought we settled in. And we're able to establish <coughs> Kalkbrenner at the rim. And, and on a night when we didn't shoot it particularly well, uh, we found other ways to score. But you know, our job defensively, you know, until the run there at the end, uh, was really, really good against a very talented offensive team. <coughs> Questions for either gentleman? <coughs> runs that you guys had in the second half, um, especially holding them off at the end, uh, what were the keys to those runs? <clears throat> we, we talked at halftime. Um, we had a two-point lead at Providence at half and uh, didn't really – it was kind of a muddled, muddy first half. Uh, no, not a lot of flow either way. And we talked about the importance of starting that second half well, and we didn't. We, we gave up uh, – I think they scored on seven straight possessions. And even though we were efficient, we weren't able to create any separation. We talked about that at halftime today, that we're either going to let him back in the game or we're going to create some separation to give us some breathing room uh, as we go down the stretch. And you knew, you knew they weren't, weren't going to quit. Um, <clears throat> they continued to fight. They turned us over. Uh, but you know, we, had a, we had a lot of easy baskets during those runs where you know, our threes generally is, is a big part of what we do. And um, you know, Baylor really, I thought, attacked the rim extremely well. And, and you know, those guys found Kalkbrenner. You know, 20, what did we have? 23 assists on 31 ba or, uh, 23 assists on 31 makes is, you know, pretty good basketball. Baylor, can you talk about uh, the end of the first half, end of the second half? I guess that was a 13 nothing run. You guys seem to find a bit of an offensive groove, uh, like Coach was just saying. And um, the defense that you guys played, was that even, even more important than the offensive point production. Yeah, 100%. I think uh, the, the, the defense we played is what generated our offense. We were able to get out and run and kind of um, generate some easy looks at the rim and, and threes. Um, and like Coach Max said, you know, against Providence, our defense didn't help us out and it kind of made offense um, not necessarily a struggle at the time, but like you said, we couldn't gain any separation. And today, um, you know, we were able to get I think we started off with three stops in a row coming out of the second half, and we were able to score on, on five of our first seven. And, um, you know, our defense is, is the catalyst for our offense. Taylor, after a couple of close losses, hard five losses, what was the mentality coming into this game? And how important was it to avoid that close game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just uh, in this league, it's got to be next game mentality. You know, you have to be able to move on um, from one game and get ready for the next because um, there's no easy games in this league. And, you know, there was definitely things that we saw in Providence that we thought we could improve on. And, um, you know, we flipped the page and had two great days of prep um, to come in here and, and, and end up getting the victory. If you could address maybe the significance of the win in the standings, I know there's a long way to go, but given the way there are so many teams stacked up in the middle of the conference, a win like today on the road, the significance of that? I mean, any time you win on the road, it's a, a huge boost for your program, especially when you've lost two at home like we have. Uh, you know, we, we have to find a, you know, whoever's going to be successful in this league when it's all said and done is, is going to do a relatively good job of protecting their home floor. And, you know, we've already lost an overtime game and a one-point game to Butler at home. So you have to go win somewhere where it's hard to win. And, you know, this place is arguably one of the hardest places to win in the league. So, uh, you know, we're getting closer to March. So, you know, games like this are important for your, for your resume in March. And, and I really think, you know, UConn has <clears throat> probably separated themselves a little bit from the rest of the league, deservedly so. And Marquette seems to have found their stride again. Uh, the rest of us, I mean, throw us all in a hat, mix us up, and pull one out one day or the other. I mean, it's it, we're so closely uh, close together in the standings, and a lot of the games have come down to you know the last two or three minutes where it's anybody's game, and you know that's a sign of a really strong, healthy conference. Greg Trey played the full forty minutes for you guys today. Didn't have his best shooting game, but gave a lot of assists. We did a lot of things. How big is that in a game like that to have a guy you can rely on, even when the shooting isn't going the way you expect it to? Yeah, I mean, Baylor got 38 seconds of rest today, and Steven got four. So we're moving the right direction, I guess. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I, I have to rely on these guys. And, 
and, and they're conditioned to do it, not, not only physically, <clears throat> but mentally. And, and we understand what they can and can't do uh, in, the, in the two days in practice leading up to a game so that they have enough in their tank uh, to, to finish a game like this one. And, and, you know, Trey didn't shoot it like he usually does tonight. He got to his spots and he missed shots, but he impacted the game in, the other, in other ways, defensively making plays for others, handling the pressure at the end. So uh, <clears throat> he's really important to what we do, and, and uh, you know, we, we wouldn't be where we're at without him. Anything else? Thank you.